Hello everyone and welcome to OnSpark Studios. Today we're going to shrink wrap text onto an object. The object I'm going to use is the pen that we made in our last video. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I will post the link in the description. And let's get started. So I'm just going to hide the text here. So to start, make sure you're in object mode and push shift A and we're going to go to text. Now, right off the bat, we're going to change the rotation at 90 degrees on the X axis and 90 degrees on the Z axis. And that's just going to stand it upright because we want it on the side of the pen. And we can close that. Now we're going to go into our text data properties and under alignment, we're going to go center. And that's just going to make it a little easier to move and know exactly uh, where it's placed. And we're just going to grab it with G. And then we want to slide it forward on the X axis. So we're going to push X and there we go. You don't need to move it too far forward. We have it, I don't know, maybe about a centimeter there. And if you haven't used text before to actually edit the text, you have to go into edit mode. So push tab and go to edit mode with your text selected and you can start editing. So we're going to say on Spark Studios and there we go. Now you can see it's too big. So we're going to tab back into object mode and we're going to push S to scale it. And we're just going to scale it down to about what we want and what looks normal for the pen. There we go. Now we're going to go into modifiers and we're going to go to add modifier shrink wrap right here. Now there's a lot of options in here to choose from. Uh, I'll make a video explaining what each one does, but for the sake of this video, we're going to change the, uh, top one here to target normal project and the snap mode we're going to go outside surface and then click this little eyedropper and click on the object that you want your text to uh, be shrink wrapped to and there we go so you can see right away the scale is off plus we have uh, the black of the pen poking through so to change all this this little dot here oh, I don't know if you can see it, this little dot here uh, that's technically where your text is and this is just where it's projecting to so if you push G and then push X to slide around the X axis it'll make it bigger you can go way too big you can even switch sides if you want to but for us we're gonna go right there and there we go and then to get rid of all this uh, where the pen pokes through under offset we're gonna click the right arrow once twice until it's all gone and that's pretty much it um, <laughs> it's, it's fairly simple and it works very well. It makes things look realistic and you're not adding another object to it like a Boolean. So you're not really messing with the topology. Uh, since we still have time for our video though, I'm going to show you another one and it's how to change the font, which amazingly enough is, uh, it's not straightforward in blender. So make sure you're in object mode. We're going to go shift a, we're going to add text. And again, we're gonna rotate it on the 90, 90 degrees on the X and 90 degrees on the Z axis. And then we'll bring it forward, Whoa, forward, that's the one. And we'll just change that to center. Now, when you're in um, the text data properties, if you scroll down to, oh, actually it's up here, under font, B font is the default Blender font. To change it to a different font, you have to click the file here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to open uh, on Windows. It'll open your fonts folder on Mac. I've read that it, some people it works and some people it doesn't. So basically all you need to do is click here to open font and just find the text that you want. Make sure you know the name of it because you don't get to see a preview. It just shows you the actual file, uh, which kind of sucks. And I wish it was like every other program where you get to see like a, a text preview. So you won't be able to see this, but right now my Blender view is open. It's because I'm using the uh, Windows, um, the Windows screen recorder, which I guess they just want to keep things safe and private, which is nice. But I'm going to choose Georgia. And once you choose your font, click open font and that'll change it here. Let's just slide that out. See, so now it changes from B font to Georgia. And there we go. And that's how to change font styles. Now just to, uh, Let's get that back here uh, just to get things shrink wrap it just in case you forgot already we're gonna go to modifiers add modifier shrink wrap uh, target normal project outside surface 
and we're going to select our cylinder. And there we go. Now we're going to have to move it down so it's not on top of our other text. So G, Z, and there we go. Change the offset. And there we go. And voila. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.